It's a scene as common as any found around these parts. Cattle being fed, great balers compacting and transporting hay, multi-acre farms operating like well-oiled machines. And here in Orange, there's one place that's been keeping those gears turning for more than 80 years. We're the oldest business in town, probably one of the oldest in the state. Everybody looks at us and says, if you can't find it anywhere else, go to Farmer's Market too. It's packed, it's cluttered, it's got no air conditioning. But if you spend your life on a farm in Southeast hey, Texas, what you need to chances are you've spent some time at the Farmer's Mercantile. Is that all for you? And you've probably spent some of that time getting to know Joe Harris, better known as JoJo. I need 10 all stock, please. She's been a fixture here her entire life. I'll load you up in the back. My great grandparents bought the store in 1927. We opened in April of 1928. At the time, the floors were dirt. Uh, there were no wood, there was no concrete, there was, there was dirt floors. I remember when I was about four or five, little bitty, um, coming up, working behind the counter. I was, I was big enough to be behind the counter, I could barely see over to take care of customers. So that's, that's probably my earliest memories. The years and customers have come and gone, but JoJo and her family have remained a constant at the Farmer's Mercantile. Five generations of brothers, sisters, mothers, fathers, and great-grandfathers have kept the place running just like it did back in 1928. Hey, this is Joe at Farmer's Mercantile. I was calling to find out if our order was coming in today. Nothing really has changed since 1919. So seriously, when I walk in here, I'm, I'm stepping back in time. Seriously, you're stepping back in time. Nothing really compares to us. None that have everything from hen treats to chemicals to crawfish pots. Whatever you want, we can, we can either get it or, or it's not made anymore. It might just be the mother of all shopping malls because whatever you're looking for, the Farmer's Mercantile probably has it. And JoJo can definitely help you find it. That's a Chicago screw. Okay. I recognize them, but I didn't know that's what they were called. Uh, hen treats. All right. We have everything from sunflower and raisin party mix to mealy worms to a little mix. That's seed and worm. It's a treat cake. A gooseneck coupler lock. Know where right. to find one? I sure do. That's so you put on your gooseneck trailer so nobody can steal it. And how many different kinds of seed do you have? As many as you want. Right there. We've got bulk seed that um, we weigh it up everywhere from a quarter ounce to however many pounds you want. Just depends on what you're looking for. You've even got a resident seed expert. I do. Leo Perry is my right arm. Mm -hmm. I'd like to get a half a pound of the uh, purple, hose. purple hose, please. He was one of my grandpa's best friends. Matter of fact, my grandpa threw him the keys on his last day here and said, hey, watch over the place. He's been here every seed season, <laughs> every spring since then. Today's his birthday, he's 86. He's the same age as the store, but yet he comes down here and he works six days a week. And what does he bring to the table for the people that come in here and want certain He brings seeds? knowledge. Thank you, ma'am. It's the kind of tried, tested, and true knowledge provided by Leo Perry and JoJo's family that has made the farmer's mercantile so essential, not just to local farmers, but to this city, a place where finding a gooseneck coupler lock is as easy as finding Miss Angie's fig preserves or Mama Granny's laundry soap. But JoJo says it's not the mercantile that's been keeping Orange alive, it's the other way around. Well, I can tell you after Hurricane Ike, um, I had lots of people that showed up that said, we can't do this without y'all. So what can we do to help? We were down for seven days and we took on anywhere from two and a half to four foot of water. 
the outpour from the community was just phenomenal. People just showed up. People from church, people that were customers, whatever, they said, we've got to have y'all. So you've got to get back open. What did that mean to you? <laughs> I still tear up when I think about it. it you just can't, you, you cannot express in words the gratitude that our family had for our community. Without everyone showing up and saying, hey, we need y'all here, we wouldn't be here. Hey, Mr. Frank, how are you today? What can we get for you? You don't find places like this anymore. While the wooden floors have warped over time, the foundation of the farmer's mercantile has remained solid. Through continued hard work and a commitment to the community, JoJo is proud of the legacy her family will leave behind, one she says she doesn't see coming to an end anytime soon. We're, we're different. We're not like everybody else. And I think our customer service is probably our biggest number one factor. Mom and pops, they're the backbone of our country. And me personally, it's, it's home. That's, I walk in, I still feel the past generations. I still see the past people that are no longer here. Um, it's just, it's home.